When you first log into your analytics account, you'll see the analytics settings screen. This is where you will manage the setup and configuration of your accounts and profiles. If you have access to multiple analytics accounts, you can access each account from the My Analytics Account drop-down list. For example, if other administrators have added you to their accounts, you'll see a list of those accounts in the drop-down. The last option in the drop-down is Create New Account. This is how you would create a new analytics account under the login you're currently using. So when should you create a new account? If you manage the analytics services for several websites, which belong to different organizations, you'll generally want to create a new account for each organization. We'll discuss this best practice in a few minutes. You are permitted to create up to 25 analytics accounts per Google username. However, you can be added as an administrator to an unlimited number of accounts. If you're using analytics from your AdWords account, you won't see this drop-down. You'll only see it if you're signed in from google.com slash analytics. To give other users access to your Google Analytics account, you use the User Manager, which you can access here from the Analytics Settings page. Inside the User Manager, you can view all of the users who currently have access to your account. There are two types of Google Analytics users. Administrators have access to all reports and they can also modify analytics settings. So, administrators can create profiles, filters, and goals, and they can add users. Users only have read access to your reports and they can't modify analytics settings. Also, users can be restricted to viewing only specific profiles. You use the user manager to add new users, remove users, and edit user information. To add a user, click the Add User link. After clicking Add Users, a screen that looks like this will appear. Enter the user information in the form. In order for you to add a new user, they must have a Google account. If they don't have a Google account, ask them to create one at google.com slash accounts. Use the Access Type dropdown to select the level of access you want to give the new user. You can either grant read-only access to certain reports, or you can make them an administrator. Remember that administrators can view all reports and modify account settings. If you select View Reports Only, the interface will show you a list of all profiles associated with your account. Select the profiles you would like this user to have access to and click the Add button to apply your changes. To edit the access settings for an existing user, go to the User Manager and click Edit next to the user. You can change their access type and you can add or remove access to specific profiles. Select the profiles you would like to remove report access to and click on the Remove button. Remember that an administrator has full administrative access to all profiles within the account. If you manage the analytics services for several websites which belong to different organizations, the best practice is to create a separate analytics account for each organization. Otherwise, if you were to group all of the websites of all the different organizations into a single account, any administrators you created on the account would have access to all the reports for all of the websites. Not only would the administrators be able to see the reports of other organizations, they'd also be able to change analytic settings on profiles that don't belong to them. This raises the potential for an administrator to accidentally edit or even delete another organization's settings and data. If you want to change your email login, create a new Google account. Add your new login as an administrator to your Google Analytics account. On your Analytics Settings page, you can see a list of the profiles that belong to the account you've selected. You'll generally have a separate profile for every domain that you track. You might also have profiles that correspond to subdomains. Or, you might set up a profile that only includes data for a filtered subset of traffic to one of your domains. Profiles are very flexible. They're basically just a set of rules that define what data is to be included in the reports. Here are some typical examples of profiles you might set up. You might have a profile that only contains traffic data for a specific subdomain. You might have a profile that tracks only a certain part of a site, or that only tracks a certain kind of traffic. And you might have profiles, each of which has a separate set of reports. You could give some users access to one of these profiles, and other users access to another profile. The result would be that each user would see only the reports that apply to them. A profile consists of settings that define the reports that you see. These include user access, goals, and filter settings. When you create a profile, you have the option of creating a profile for a new domain or an existing domain. Here's a schematic showing an analytics account with three profiles. The first two profiles are tracking domain A, 
and the third profile is tracking domain B. Notice the tracking code number for each profile. The longer number, represented by X's, is the Google Analytics account number. All three profiles have the same account number. Next you see that profiles 1 and 2 each have a dash 1, while profile 3 has a dash 2. This smaller number is the property number. Profiles 1 and 2 are tracking the same domain and have the same property number. They can be referred to as duplicate profiles. Profile 3 is tracking a different domain and has a different property number. Now you may wonder, why would I create duplicate profiles? You might want to apply filters to your duplicate profile so that it contains a subset of data. So for example, you might filter the data in profile 2 so that it only includes AdWords visitors to domain A. In addition, you might want to give certain users access only to profile 2. This has the effect of only allowing these users to see AdWords traffic to domain A. You'll need to be an administrator to add a new profile. To add a new profile, go to the Analytics Settings page and click the Add Website Profile link. Then, in the screen that appears, select the Add a Profile for a new domain. Enter the URL for the web property and click Finish. To edit a profile, click the Edit Settings link for the profile on the Analytics Settings page. You must be an administrator in order to edit a profile. Using the edit link next to the main website profile information, you can configure various profile settings such as the default page, e-commerce reporting, and site search tracking. You can also configure the profile to exclude query string parameters such as session IDs from the URLs that appear in the report interface. To remove a profile, you can simply click the delete link next to the profile on the analytics settings page. You'll need to be an administrator to do this. Be careful that you are deleting the correct profile, because you won't be able to recover the historical data for the profile once it's been deleted.